Hello everyone, Seth here from Cubicle Productions, and welcome to Palindrome. Uh, this is the map that I made the cinematic of, um, that both Samurai and I built. Uh, Samurai directed said cinematic, and you can go watch it if you want to see more of this map, because the actual video- oh, there's a squid falling out of the waterfall. Um, <laughs> the actual map is not what this video is about. So the actual video that I'm doing here today is about the process that went into making the cinematic because I have a lot of people asking me questions about how I get these done, what's my process, what do I do? And the question is um, really quite simple. So I have three mods here, Minima for 1.8 version 3.1, Pixel Cam 1.2 for version one, uh, MC 1.8, and shaders mod 2.4.7 for MC 1.8. And these are all running on a particular version of Forge that is, uh, if you can't see up here, 11.14.0.1281. Now, the reason I'm giving you these version numbers and I'm being really specific is because this is the specific combination of these versions of Forge and the mods that works well enough for me to actually make this video. So, um, with the modding community kind of becoming a little bit more sparse nowadays in terms of updates that are happening and all of that, um, just because of how Mojang has gotten really involved in the mod making process and trying to like internalize it to the game itself, um, the compatibility between mods is difficult because they're all updated at different times, different places, um, they come from different websites and developers. Um, but now I have finally got like the right combination of mods that works just right for me to get this, uh, get this cinematic working. So Minima, um, I, I should probably describe what all these do. So shaders mod, uh, is what gives you this beautiful visual effect and you can load what are called shader packs to change the look of your game a little bit. Um, so this is like, this is one of them. That I actually I really love the water on this pack. I think it's really cool. Not as a glarish, glary. I don't know if that's a word. Glaring um, as the water that was used for um, was it Seuss Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders? Yeah. Oh no, no it was Seuss. Okay. Um, nah, not as vibrant as the Seuss shaders, but I still really like how wavy it is, and it just seems it just seems more realistic in terms of how it behaves visually. Um, there's also that really cool depth of field that uh, selectively focuses based on where you're looking, which I think is just really cool. I love that uh, take on uh, vision um, because that's how real vision and that's how cameras work. So yeah. Um, Shaders mod enhances the game visually. Pixel cam is what allows you to set camera points so that you can do cam start 10 seconds. We'll do five seconds simply not to waste time. But that's what gives you this like movement um, that allows you to create these really cool shots. And there's like some really weird motion blur that this uh, does. Yeah, that gives you the, um, the smooth camera movement and then finally, Minima is what allows you to record all of the shots, but there's a catch to this. It records, it doesn't record in video. Instead, it records in frames. All of these image files, these TGA files, are frames, single frames. And then what I had to do is I would have to import all of these frames into individual Premiere Pro files for each shot and then render out the actual video files. And I did that in two formats um, just to be kind of flexible. There's the H.264, which I can just throw up on YouTube if I really want to or use it in a demo reel. Um, and then there's the GoPro. Well, actually, no, I might not even use that for a demo reel. They're just compressed version of shots if I need to share them with someone. Um, and then there's the GoPro Cineform, which uses 12-bit color, which I can't really take advantage of. Um, but it's a really high quality format. And as you can see, this shot is only 16 seconds long, but it's already almost a gigabyte. So it's very lightly compressed. When all is said and done, we have these shots that are just like really, really wonderful. 
um, we can go ahead and we can throw them into Premiere Pro. So the cool thing about Premiere Pro is you can do odd, you can do uh, media bins, and that allows you to like structure everything according to your workflow. So I have all the videos in here. Um, I have all the stills, which are basically like titles and other things um, in here. Uh, that's also the thumbnail base. And then the audio is for the music. And the music was also a pretty interesting deal because I used Audacity to create a compressed edit of the song that um, cut out very selective parts. Um, in fact, if I can pull up Audacity here and actually pull up the file, which I believe should be here. Yeah, there we go. Um, you have, in essence, four separate sections of the song that I combined together with fades and stuff like that. Um, and that resulted in this really cool edit. And then I ended up re-importing the, um, the original song because I threw in uh, the actual continuation. Because if you just continue the edit, it fades out. But I wanted the kind of bridge to have for the credits. Uh, speaking of the credits, now we're going to segue into that. Um, the font, the typeface, I should say, there's a difference between font and typeface. Typeface is the actual like lettering, the design. And then a font is a computer program that contains the typeface. Uh, this particular typeface was something I designed myself. Um, custom design over the course of about a week and I've done some modifications to it actually since creating, since using it in this video um, to refine how it works. Um, but yeah, this is kind of based on the text that I, the 3D text that I create for my um, bigger productions as you saw in the um, Total Drama Minecraft uh, audition video that I made. Um, have like the four by five 3D blocks for lettering, and I wanted to create a font so that I wouldn't always have to do that. And that, and this is the result right here, and it looks really great. Um, so yeah, that is the font. We have our awesome videos. Some of them I did some like neat little. I think this particular shot had some very subtle jump cuts that looked really cool. Um, the switcheroo part was actually like one of the most fun shots for me that I've ever done in a cinematic. Um, just because I got to experiment with the timing on that, and I really, really loved it. Um, and then, you know, you have the titles on the beginning. So you've got Samurai's logo um, that I designed for him, and then you have CP Phase 2, which is my epic uh, Phase 2 logo. So yeah, that is the cinematic. Again, if you want to go check it out, it's on the channel. Um, it's one of my more recent videos. It was about two weeks ago when I posted that, I think. And um, yeah, enjoy it. I love it. It's one of my best cinematic works. And I guess that's it for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope to see you on Thursday's Cube Talk. And uh, yeah, bye.